No. 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 No! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... Something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone, so... Did you? I... yeah, sure. Great! Now don't tell me, was it... Carrot? No. Sorry. Oh, that's... odd. Are you sure? Yes. I thought about celery. Now let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy.
Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat Six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's... Pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Red paint. We've got it already. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost, after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute.
A little room with a masked locksmith. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you, I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth! Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this. So she offered to come along. She is my favorite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester. And I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? 
Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay, I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it, and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Not really, but I'm a fast learner. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not great. I don't really have time to teach you. I'm already so busy. You seem like a nice girl, though. And I suppose Mrs. Ashworth here will give you some basic training. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa. But my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. That just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But, I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just 
ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... I stroked a filthy-looking dog. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Hello? Hello? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened.
So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told them to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! I think I've got something in my eye. Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. Don't be such a baby, Mitzi. I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. It's that dirty dog you were touching, isn't it? Oh, poor thing. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yeah. I'm evil. But you're thick.
damn fuse just keeps tripping. It's like we're living in the Stone Age here. Jesse, can we talk to you please? Later mate, later. I'm really, really busy right now. Thank you. 